Hello there, it is I, Jason Bailey, that guy with bow tie, bringing you that A1 content on the daily, and I didn't deafen. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, it is I. So, we are going to be playing Dungeons & Dragons again tonight. Um, yes, and right now, I'm just getting my thingamajag jag jags together, and uh, hopefully, one of you guys, if you could kindly like the stream so I can... <laughs> that's the only way that I can, I'm able to access my page for some reason today don't know why um uh, but yeah also keep in mind uh, as we're playing we're trying to be as immersive as possible so we're not get, i'm not going to necessarily be talking to you guys as much unless i deafen and, I, and even then i might still kind of be a little off we do want to keep as much as we can by being uh thank you steve for like on the day at the end i didn't deafen uh, all right but yes there's a lighting thing. Oh, I think it's because it's on this, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whee, she says. Thank you, baby, for the light. Yes. Um, <clears throat> see. I don't know what we'll do for the pin comment today. Mm. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll find out. We'll do it. We'll figure that out later. But yeah, we're, we're playing some Dungeons & Dragons tonight. Tanver, thank you for like, Cassandra, thank you for like, JC! Hi, Cassandra, how's it going? Welcome in. My eyeball is burning today. So, uh, last time on Dungeons & Dragons, we... All the crinkly noises she's making over here. <laughs> uh, lighting still feels weird. I'm also going to go ahead and shrink myself a little bit here. Um... And reveal the other friendos. AB's got a camera glazed over, I guess, which is weird, but okay. Um, but yeah, so we are here. There's Steve, Watson, Klutzy. AB will be joining us shortly. Uh, right now, I was going to tag them. Tag our friends. Uh, AB just went live. I'm going to go give her a like real quick. And I'll run away. Okay. Sheesh. All right. Let me do A B. And then Watson. All right. Cool. Tagged. We've got everything's going. Looks good. Everything looks good. Oh, knock spot. See, look at me. I'm. I'm. I take one day off and I forget how to do this. No, we're not doing that. Not not today. Absolutely not. Mm, nope. Nope. Not, not at all. Let me get to knock spot real quick, friends. All right. Activate. And... Honestly, I have no idea what I want to do my, my pin comment today. Let's see. Hmm. Sure, we'll, we'll, prom we'll promote uh, the RHMC Discord today. That, that seems like a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> if you're not a part of it, uh, get up-to-date notifications on all Rogue events, which we are going to be pushing hard for that next month. I will say Minecraft will be uh, the primary source of my, uh, my jagging jags. I don't know. There we go. I'll go ahead and pin that. Yeah, all right. Cool. All right, now we're just going to go here. That seems like a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, just unmute. And everyone is still talking. And there are things. Except for Steve. Hi, Steve. How's it going, buddy? I want to take a look here at our current location. So essentially, we can we can go back here to Fandolin, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Come on. Nope. Go over here. All right. So basically, what happened is they went to this farm, and they found a secret tunnel. And then they climbed in the secret tunnel, 
and they found themselves here, which is right there. Make sure this is positioned for everyone to see. Okay. All right, Steve, everything okay over there? Yeah, I was. I couldn't share the stream off my Chromebook. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Let's see. Let me read through this real quick and see if anything interesting. Hello? 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 Oh, look, Watson's the deaf in one tonight. Watson. Ah, it's not me. Oh, wait. I accidentally muted myself in OBS, though. Nice. <laughs> Real good, real good. Sorry, I had to um, I had to freaking redo my OBS twice tonight. Mm. Nobody I, leave I or to, join. I went to start stream. I went to start stream and it didn't work. And then I went to, and then I closed hey it guys. out. Hey guys, we started. About ding time. Hey Watson. About hey, time. How are you? Enjoy your D and D. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's just let's just jump right into it. Steve. When we do the, like when we do these, uh, when I post them on YouTube slash TikTok or any of those other places, I don't like to edit it at all if I can avoid it because oh, it's sure. two hours of downloading it, two hours of posting it. Anyways, fun times. Anyways, so as I was explaining to the chat, we had talked about coming through. Uh, you guys landed in Vandalin, you got rested up, you guys are full health, you're level two. Yay, right? Oh, yeah, hopefully you don't, well. hopefully you don't die. Uh, well, you, you don't think you get, I don't think there are level two spells. I think, I don't think so, anyway. Uh, but, you have more spell slots, essentially, from what I understand. I don't think it changes to level five for you. But anyways, uh, so yeah, you guys got there, found a secret tunnel, uh, didn't bury Clark because you're rude, and then you left him to kind of die. Also, you're muted, AB, again. No, I know I am. Okay. Um, and then you found yourself in this uh, this cave. Um, for the most part, it, it's pretty breezy in this cave. Um, a cold breeze kind of fills the air as you come into it. Uh, crevice divides the cavern. As you can see on the map there, it's flanked... Uh, by two rough stone columns that support the 20 foot high ceiling, in case you didn't know. Two arch wooden bridges span the, ch the, the chasm. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of what you got. That's all you can see. It, it is faintly lit, but I mean, I don't know. It, why you're I mean, here, let me, ask, let me say that real quick because AB always asks those questions. Why are you here? Well, you're, the townspeople told you that the bandits were causing trouble, and they might be living here. You don't know for sure, but you think that they could be living here. So, yeah. Ready, set, go. Well, I know that I'm able to pretty clearly see things since I can see in the dark. Unlike these <coughs> plebeians. Yeah, it, it's faintly lit, so you can see all what you see on this little um, mm -hmm. thing there. There are there any rocks on the ground, you know, roughly baseball-sized? Uh, curious as to where this is going. Yeah, there is. <laughs> There's a couple of rocks you see. Okay. Uh, okay, I'd like to pick one up, cast light on it, and throw it towards where that number eight is. Okay, that went okay. to a wholesome place. I thought <laughs> no, he was going to throw it at place. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, no, that, that, that's fine. Okay. Uh... So you kind of, from that, I'll, I'll uh, reveal a little bit more for you guys here. I'll let you guys see kind of through this and you kind of get a, oh gosh, I'm moving her around again. I could, then you guys kind of see wait, wait. a hallway to the right, hallway to the left. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's about it. You got the light in there somewhere now. But I don't think this is working. I don't see anything. I might have to refresh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Light. laughs> 
Sorry about that. Yeah, Watson, just refresh your eyes. <laughs> you refresh those eyes, buddy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can. There's lots of different directions you can take this. You can go straight across. I mean, uh, obviously not in the cavern. You could try and get to the side of it. Um, mm, I'll go left if if the our, team allows. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say our best bet. Our best bet's to check out the stuff to either side of us because we don't want something coming up behind us. Yeah, that's my logic. Okay, fair enough. I say we go left. All right, left. All right, so left. Uh, to the left, you kind of see a staircase. How about we just pretend we take Watson left, but we're actually going right? <laughs> he won't know the difference. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe. Well, we gotta watch him crossing that bridge so he doesn't just fall in. <laughs> no, she's, she's saying that I go left. And you guys say you go left, but you guys actually go right, and I wander left on my own. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you definitely can do that if that's what you want to do. But, um, um, so you got two doors here. Uh, so you come down the staircase, and there's two doors. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check, everybody. Perception. Got it. Hold on. I got this. Ooh, boy, let me get back to my stats. Do I have to roll for that? A D20. D20? Mm -hmm. Plus your perception modifier. I got an 11. Wait. Okay. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Don't, just, don't even. Don't even. <laughs> oh yeah? Uh, oh yeah? <clears throat> it's been a day, guys. Wait. I, I don't know why, I just rolled it like you would roll on Facebook. <laughs> How do you type it out? I just use the buttons at the bottom of the screen. Oh. There are buttons? Oh. Wait, how do you type it out? <laughs> I've been typing out this entire time. What yeah, but heck? like, how do you type it out? It's What's no, the uh, formation? It's a, even it's even better, it. AB, is if you press 1 or 2 or 3 or whatever the key for the die, yeah. it rolls it. Yeah, that, that oh does Oh my happen. god. Mm -hmm. Wait, so if I did this? 1 equals 1. What? Did not do that. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so who got above 10? Uh, hold on. I forgot. Perception. I got a 22. I'm just gonna okay. reroll. I got a 14. I think I'm good. 14? Okay, so basically everybody can hear this. So, um... <laughs> On both sides of the door, uh, on the one on the left, the door on the left, you can hear like gruff voices. Uh, Where are you looking? What side? Left. Left. If you go down the stairs, there's a, a door on the left. The door is the little. Oh right. Okay. Okay. I don't know what you would call it, uh, but it's just just a little door there. Um, yeah. And so. That's freaking cold. Um, sure. On that side, you can hear kind of the sound of. Uh, Goblin voices you can make out. I mean, oh, uh, wait, wait, stop, stop giving secrets. I've taken off my headset for a sec, so I can put on my social shirt. Hold on. Okay. Um, Klutzy. Yes. You mind helping me down the stairs? No. Oh. <laughs> this is, this is secrets. Hey, this you is know what? Hurt. You know what? I have some rope in my bag. Can I tie it around your waist and just drag you along like a dog? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. Okay, all right. No. Say, no? Say, say, the say the secrets again. What happened? Okay, so on the left side, um, you hear kind of gruff voices. You can hear it. You can pretty much make out that there's it's goblin. So um, Watson can actually hear them say stuff like, Lick the floor and roll like a dog. Stuff like that. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but that's what they see. That's what he says. Um, so on the other side, uh, you can hear kind of. Uh, it sounds like there's there, there's people playing like a, a game, like a like a board game of some sort, kind of like uh, you hear dice rolling. So they're playing uh, D and D. Probably not. Probably not. But they're definitely playing a game on the other side. You can hear people like shouting. Uh, but yeah. So. Why am I by myself? I don't know. You, you didn't move yourself. Oh, God. What happened? 
Who did it? Who left? <laughs> it who was caused pain? Steve. Okay. It was Steve. It's fixed. It's fixed. Give me another what beer happened? over there. The There's my oh, internet. Oh, okay. okay. Tell Steve hello for me. Okay, Amber says hello. <clears throat> hello, okay, Amber. Amber says hello. Okay, there you go. Put the liquor at the bottom of the stairs. Right. The Klutz and Watson will make it down just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Someone say liquor? <laughs> uh, Alright, so, which way are we going? Liquor? You guys gonna I go... Even know her. You guys gonna go uh, left to the lick the floor people or we're going to the right with the, the board game i want to go yeah um no not really uh steve he can make out um that there's more than just um so he can roll the 22 so i think in the left room he knows that there's three big footed steps that he can hear and one like light footed step he can hear if that's helpful. Huh. So. Wait, wait. I have a question. Hmm. Are there any cracks under the under the door that we can look under? Good question. Uh. Hmm. Perception check. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a crack. Go ahead and look underneath. Is that D twenty? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll for perception now. Uh, but you can look under the crack. All right. Fourteen. And you're looking underneath the left door, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, from what you see, uh, you can see kind of three sets of furry feet, and then one set of like green, gross, nasty, like moly feet. Um, and. One. You also see uh, um, Oh yeah, okay, that, that's about it Yeah, you, you just see them kind of like Is C's camera back for anyone? Mm. Yes Okay, I probably have to press the button Okay, yeah, here we go, there he is There he is, Steve is back There we go Sheesh, welcome back Steve Okay so, right, so, yeah, go ahead. Um, so I, uh, wait one second. I use disguise myself and become a rat so I can go under no, the door. No, you can't do it with that spell, unfortunately. Sorry. Thank Try you. again. Disguise self, uh, you can only change your appearance uh, if you read the specifics of it, you can only change your appearance like maybe two inches of height. You can't like completely morph into another creature. That that's a different spell. Hold on, hold on. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so. do shite. Uh, you might. I don't know. You have a. There is a spell. Uh, is there? Is there any rats around? Uh. Roll for perception. <laughs> Let me see. Roll for rat trap, basically. Okay. Watson, I can't see your rolls. Why? I got twenty-two, and I'm I'm using it on my phone because it Whoa. adds it up for me. You got twenty-two. It adds it up for me. Yeah, okay. I got twenty-two. All right. You see a rat in the corner eating what looks like like a speck of dust. He doesn't know what he's eating. He's just eating it. The spell you want is polymorph, if they have it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. that's the one. GG's beard. What I want to do is I want to use my spell Speak with Animals. Okay. And I want Ooh. to speak with the rat to uh -huh. have the rat tell us what's going on in the room. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And talk to the animal. <laughs> Uh, does spell, does it require any constitution or any of that checks? Can you read the spell to me? Uh, it says, uh, it's a cast, self, duration 10 minutes. You gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration, uh, for the duration. The knowledge 
An awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at a minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or have perceived within the past day. You might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the GM's direction. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm and it looking. says communication next under effect. Alright, so I just wanted to double check. Go ahead and tell the rat what you want him to do. Look at all these beautiful people. Hello, friend. Could you, uh, by chance, tell me what is going on? On the Hi other guys, side of that, that door. That. No, no, I'm trying here, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, the rat Wait, looks. Nice the rat looks confused. It doesn't look like it uh, knows that you're talking to it. He just. He doesn't realize that you can. Uh... <clears throat> he doesn't Mr. realize. Mr. Rat. It. Mr. Rat, I'm talking to you. Who are you calling a rat? Okay. Little buckaroo. What would you like to be called? The names. Jod. Jod. That's all I know. Jod. Jod? Jod. Jod, yes. Jod. Oh, Jod. My name's Jod. The name's Jod. What do you want from me? What do you want? It's going to cost you something if you want something from me. What would you like, Jod? I have food. What would uh, you like, Jod? Cheese is always a good thing. Cheese. Is cheese. Good. I feel like that's a little stereotypical, but okay. I got, I got cheese. Cheese. Okay. All right. All right. All right. He takes the cheese and he just like nibbles on it. I hope. And she, uh, for anybody that saw that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he eats the cheese and he's like, "All right, I can do this for you." <laughs> Somebody clip that. Hmm? Somebody clip that. All right. Clip it. Uh, yeah, um, you Doctor Doolittle, that rat. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, so the rat goes in there, and one second, give me one second. <clears throat> All right, let me just do this real quick, friends. Uh, Shock tour. Andy, Michael, Amber, Saggy, Cassandra. Thank you all for the likes. Barn, thank you for the thousand stars, buddy. Thank you so much for that, buddy. Appreciate that a million times. The rat bites Watson toes. Hi, mission. How's it going? Welcome in, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking to you guys as much. I would like to on a mission that you like and uh, Barn, thank you for like. Anyways. Whew. All right. Um, yeah, so all right, he goes in there, and he's going to roll for perception, and he doesn't have high perception, so he got 12. So he can see basically three bugbears, uh, one goblin, uh, and then uh, it looks like one of them kind of is a little weird. He got weird. Money. Thank you. He's got like a, a, a jewelry... Double some sort of jewelry on his eye, like an eye patch of some sort, uh, that's like kind of jeweled. But he, he, he thinks it's he looks very like, uh, would you say like he just wears it because it's cool, versus it's important. Like he doesn't have an eye or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about all have he can tell you. Swag, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that that's about it. The then the rat comes out, tells you all this information. And then, uh, screws away. So. Okay. Fair. Uh, real quick though, squad. Eric just hopped in my chat real quick. Said uh, he doesn't have service to watch, but tells me to tell everyone hi for him. Hi. Hi Eric. Hi Eric. Hi, hi little Hedrick. And you think of the stars, buddy? I got information for you guys. Okay. Now we. Now what do we want to do? Well, we got three clargs in there, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and you guys are level. Was... You're level two now, guys. You guys should ha You guys could handle three of them. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Maybe. No, I died twice. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Sure you can. I believe in you. So I should just basically stand beside Ab and keep healing her. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's probably smart. I, I have a better idea. Okay, now that we know what's in the left door, let's go find out what's in the right. Is there a crack on the door on the right? <laughs> uh, yes, okay, there's a crack on the door on the right. Okay, uh, I roll for the reception. Okay. I got a 15 again. All right, you see four 
boots. Uh, they're all around a table, it looks like. Um, uh, it, not that's about all you can tell. I mean, it, there's there's some other like you could see like a little bit of a chair, but nothing really. I mean, it's just four four sets of boots. Um, uh, you can in uh, because you're in uh, closer to the door, you can hear um, they're talking about. They're accusing everybody of cheating. They're playing a game called Knuckle Bones. Uh, you probably wouldn't. It's basically like uh, dominoes in a way. If if you ever played dominoes, uh, there's actually the. If you've ever heard of Bones, it's a it's like a game in prison people play. <sighs> um, it's like that. It's basically just dominoes, but kind of with uh, prison rules essentially. Um, but yeah. You can tell that they're playing that just by the kind of the verbiage they're using. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, uh, also you can kind of tell that they're, um, they have mugs, uh, because they keep banging a mug on, like, they, they, like, insult each other and then they throw their mug back on the, on the table. So, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Lots of information. What's that for? Oh, I've just been trying to figure out uh, how to do that in chat, like typing it out rather than mm. the buttons. Hi, Barn, by the way. How's it going? Um, okay, uh, so what are we doing, guys? Uh, <clears throat> you said there's four on the right side, right? Four on the right side, yep. There's. Four on each side. Guys, are you a warlock ranger? No, I am a uh, human wizard. Mm -hmm. So, I I will say that um, if we go, we we're pretty much deciding who we want to come up behind us and attack us, right? If we think of it that way, if we go into the left side, then whoever's on the right side is going to come up behind us potentially and try to get us from behind. Whereas if we go to the right side, then whoever's on the left side is going to come up potentially and try to get us from behind. Mm -hmm. So who would we rather have to fight at our weak side? From our behind. So the doors open in or out? Um, man, that's, like a, good, room, that's a good question. The hall. It doesn't say. So I'm going to say that Wait, the one the on the left Why would opens... there be two different types of doors? Yeah, because they can. It's a freaking it's it's RPG. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Uh, le left door goes in, right door pulls out. That's helpful, I guess. So. All right. So can we wedge something underneath the right door quietly so that they can't open the door? The right door. Okay. I mean, yeah, potentially. Yeah, what are you gonna What are you gonna use to wedge it? We got rocks. Okay. Uh, we'll use rocks in. Watson? Hey, no. <laughs> does, does anybody have like a hand axe or anything like that? A small axe? Uh, uh, let me check. Hold on. I think I saw something. Let me like check that my, in inventory. my inventory. I have a hammer. A hammer? Yep. Okay, uh, let's try. Let's see. Uh, oh, let uh, me I see. have a dagger, yes. but I kind of want to hold on to it. Can you scroll up for me? Because I got to look at some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roll for. Um, wait, no, scroll up more. Please, thank you. Uh, roll for. Performance. I think that's the best one I can me? think of. Yeah. Skills. Just so you know, uh, I know I haven't mentioned this before. You guys can use an action to aid, which just gives them advantage on rolls. Just so you know, and if you need. Just one thing. I've got a 13. Okay. All right. I'll say we'll say that it's wedged, but a, we'll say that to in order for them to break it, they would need a strength thirteen or higher to break. We'll just utilize your number. Um, so if they wanted to break through that door, they no. would have to do thirteen strength. This is the right side, right? Yeah, the right side. Okay. I'll just write that down. All right, so, yeah. Very, very interesting. Okay, very, very good choice, I think, probably. So you guys are going to bar the door on the right, and does that mean you guys are going to go into the door on the left? Mm-hmm. Yeah? 
Yeah, Sounds good to me. Okay. Sure. I don't know why I just agreed to. All right, here you go. So there you go. You, if you guys look at there, uh, Watson, obviously, you can't see, but he can see. But uh, <laughs> there's uh, basically this barracks is a barracks. Uh, four roughly built-in wooden bunks with uh, heaped up blankets and uh, Rut -row -row. dirty dash dishes scattered about. A strong smell of unwashed bodies and rotten meat fills the air. Uh, three tall, furry humanoids are lounging among the mess, barking orders at a sad little goblin that demeans himself like uh, for their amusement. Uh, your sudden appearance causes the goblin to faint. So, yeah. Poor goblin. Yeah. So then... He fainted at my beauty. Uh, so, you guys didn't really specify how you went into the room, whether it was quietly or not. So, we'll assume. Hello. Hello. Is C, is C's video gone? Uh, yeah, he's I'm here, but for some reason... Oh, he's back now. Okay, so I want, go ahead, because you guys didn't specify, I'm going to give you like a freebie here, but make sure when you enter rooms to always say are you how you're going to enter. Are you going to burst the door open? You're going to be uh, stealthy about it. So go ahead, and everybody roll for stealth, and I'm going to roll a uh, perception check on those guys. To see if they see you, if you guys gonna get a surprise attack on them or what? Oh gosh, my Discord's frozen. I got a thirteen. I got a fourteen. A thirteen. I got fourteen. A, a B. <laughs> I got a what? I got an eight. An eight. An A. Okay. But I, don't I got an eight. Okay. So. The blind man walks into a room quieter than I do. What the heck? All right. Well, you're. you're I can hear better, so I know. You're very. To make you're very lucky. Loud sounds. Uh, they really can't see anything. So you walked in, kind of. You guys weren't very stealthy, but you guys walked in, uh, and they didn't see you. So you guys get a uh, stealth or a sorry, a surprise attack. This shirt. So yeah. At this point here, we can. Uh, Initiate a uh, initiative. Do we want to attack these guys? Is that oh. what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Can we like politely ask them what they're doing first? Um. Sure, but then you will lose your surprise attack. Okay. Never mind. I didn't think that we had any surprise after coming in like that. You did, because they. I told you they couldn't see you. Yeah. They basically you're stupid, and they didn't even see you come in. Oh. Let's the DM's goblin voice? Alright, JC. Called out. <laughs> the goblins... The, the goblin voice? They're, they're not goblins, they're bugbears, but, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. Come on! Hold on, I got it. I got I got to write down who's Klutzy, AB, uh, Steve, and... Uh, Watson. Okay, so... What is your initiative, real quick, so I can... Get this out of the way. I know. I always roll Imagine. low on initiative. Mine is seven... 14, 11, and 6. Oh, so, I didn't roll mine yet. 7. Is it a D20? Yeah. I'm at 19. All right. I'm at a 2. All right. Initiative. Um, where's initiative on here? It's at the top. I think you have plus 2, don't you? Like 10. Yeah, I have 2. So I got 10. Okay, cool. What, wait, what, Watson? What'd you get, Watson? 11? 19. 19, okay. All right. So your first... Second, third. Uh, fourth. you know, Beard does bring up a good point. He what? said bugbears are goblinoid. Yes, they are goblinoid. Yes, they are. They are goblinoid. Mm. But you're the voice. Okay, well. <laughs> Do the war. Do the war. Make them sexy bad guys. Okay. All right, so you guys get, before I even say anything, because you guys have a surprise attack, so I'm not going to utilize a voice yet that when you guys haven't even uh, utilized your surprise attack yet. But Oh, I'll so, start the surprise attack. All right, so first person up is Watson. So Watson, yeah. you see three bugbears uh, kind of just kind of chilling. Uh, kind of, they're, I would assume they were on their bunk. Um, and then the goblins kind of just fainting in the middle of the floor. So go ahead and... Do your damage. Also, I gotta <laughs> remember. All right. 
I have a, I had a goblin voice last week. I just forgot what it was, so I'm gonna remember it. I'm again. guessing there's one on each bed, right? Yeah. Uh, except for the one on the right on the map, the, the okay. top right. Top right. Yeah. Okay. He's in right, the bed so... with another. Wait, sorry, what? I am going to. Let's see if you would. Uh, just I'm gonna move you right up there. Yep. Because I'm gonna shoot through this door, and hit the guy in the top left. Okay. All right. All right. So let me go to action. Long. Oh no! Uh, These big strong attackers! Oh, don't take advantage of us! Got a 19. Oh, is that your sexy voice? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's how he sees Jim Handy, at least. No, don't. <laughs> oh no! No, oh, no. They, he didn't actually say that because they they don't know he's there yet. Go Your ahead. Rat voice is more intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you hear me though? No, I didn't. I was distracted. I got a 19 on hit. Okay, you hit him. And then damage. I got an eight. Nice. Okay. That's he screamed. You said you, you shot a, a bow, right? Yep. All right, so yeah, you shot the arrow. Uh, it it hit him in the leg, very upset. But he's not he's not really that messed up. So he's just kind of chilling. Make sure. Oh, don't oh, did you add the plus two? By the way. Yeah, it automatically adds everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just 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 yeah. shaking. Okay. Uh, next it will be. Da 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 da. A B. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I use. Wait, are the other ones still asleep or no? No, they're all awake. They're okay, basically okay. you walked in on this this goblin just kind of doing demoralizing things to make them laugh. Essentially. All right. I use so. magic missile, uh -huh. which creates three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hitting a creature of my choice. That I can see within a range. The dart deals a 1d4 plus 1 force damage to its target. The darts all strike simultaneously, and you can direct them to hit one or creature or several. Okay. So I'm going to use the three to hit the three different people. Okay. So you're going to want to roll... So basically with that one, you don't have to worry about rolling to a hit. All you got to do is it just diminishes a spell slot. Uh, and then what you'll do is then um, roll the d4... Three times. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all you do. I don't have to roll a d20? Uh, no, a d4. No. Wow. Okay, so, so d4. Magic missile automatically. So that's d4. D4. All right, oh, so four. three. And a two, a three. Well, a those well, are actually, each is plus it? one. So it's, yeah, so three, four, four, and two. Three, four, two? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm choosing to use the highest one, that four. Ah! Oops, I dropped something. I choose to use that on the one that's already hurt. Oh, okay. And the other ones you don't care? Right? Uh, no, oh, um. I'd say the one in the f bottom right should get the lowest. Yeah, I didn't know which beds this. they were in, so, yeah. We'll use the, okay, most, cool. the, we'll use the most damage to the hurt one. All right. The second one to the whatever bed's closest, and then the third right. to the farther away. All right, well, uh, yeah, the magic missile. You shot them, each beautiful, beautiful hit, uh, and they're all just kind of, it was like a gnat. They just hit it, swatted it aside, kind of. It didn't really bother them that much. All right, and then next we have... What? It's not, no, it's I mean, it, it did, it did do them damage, but it just, to them, it didn't they really do that. They it away. I know, I'm just saying it, it was like that. All I, right, I'm just making sure you know it actually hit. Yeah, it did, it did, it did, it, 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 it did hit. <laughs> all right, Klutzy, it's your turn. Oh, yay. So question on this i can do the attack and bonus action or no you mean your bonus action of unarmed strike yeah you can always do that that's okay. that's your monk advantage cool oh yeah jc jim brings up a good point here can i just pull out a 240 and start spraying <laughs> no oh. all right you don't have one of those 240 bravo mm -mm. not allowed Alright, go ahead, Clutzy. So, you gotta roll the hit first now. No, I was like, what is that? Um. Sorry, I don't know the difference with that one. Uh, yeah. I'll roll to hit. 
Fifteen. Nope. No? Didn't do it. Or sixteen. Fifteen? It's sixteen? Fifteen. Which one is it? It's fifteen. Okay, then you didn't hit them. Okay, then Would I'm they be go... considered prone since they're laying in bed? No, they're not laying. They're sitting on the bed. Okay. Like, like just as a chair. Like, yeah, that's all they got in there, so that's what they're sitting on. Okay. Now, how about and your then, unarmed strike? Yeah, my unarmed. Okay. Oh, yay. She rolled a one. Hold on. Oh, no. Pussy. I swear if I die from this somehow. Oh, wait. Here, actually, before we do anything else. She's Run moving it. up there. I'm moving back. All right, roll, roll a D100 real quick. Oh, God. Mm. Mom, me too. What's up? What's up, Jessica? 47. Okay. Oh, Broken time. bone. You break a bone in your hand, you suffer a disadvantage for the rest of the encounter and take 1d6 damage every round until healed. So, go ahead and start with that 1d6. Oh, my God. <laughs> that seems a... A bit insane, but okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, six damage. You, so you tried oh, no. to, uh, you tried to backhand somebody, and you ended up breaking your hand. That's One a failed D six of damage, and uh, yeah, and now you're a disadvantage for the rest yeah. of the encounter. So, jeez. Yeah. All right. Finally, Steve. All right, so she's taking one. She's taking Justin, uh, game with green. Jessica, smoke monkey day with a double like. Jim, thank you for like as well. Welcome in everybody. Yeah, I'm taking one d six every round. Oh, big rip. Can cure wounds heal a broken bone? I, th I think. I mean, it says heal, so oh. I mean. Yeah, that's pretty much my only option here because. Uh, if I don't, she's going to die in like two more rounds. <laughs> so, I'm a broken hand. I'm a broken hand. <laughs> okay, yeah. It looks like uh, cure wounds can heal uh, a broken bone. Uh, All right. It's a, it's like a yeah, healing Spirit accelerant. Says, Spirit says it can. Spirit says it can. 1d8 plus 6. Okay. You, you get back while well, you're back up to full. Okay. Ooh. And and your bone's no longer broken. I don't know if that gets rid of your disadvantage or not, but... Uh, yeah, it does. It's essentially... Fear since her... that your wounds repairs bodily damage. Yeah. Which, a broken hand, I would assume, is bodily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so now uh, these guys are all angry and uh, ready to fight. Wait. All right, have fun, guys. I have a new question. Shut up. Could, could, Come back uh, here, blind man. What was it, no, heal wounds? Right yeah. Heal no, wounds. no. <laughs> could that fix Watson's eyes? No. Oh. No. No, no. He's, he's already tried. That's an actual spell, cure blindness. <laughs> Is that it? Really? <laughs> yeah, cure blindness and cause, and it reverses to cause okay, blindness. Finally to the party. Uh, yeah. It was cussies, but then. So you're telling uh, me there's a chance. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead with uh, the first person up now. As we restart the encounter, is uh, Watson. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't want to be there. We're all backing you up. All right. Um, I I go to quickly shoot. I quickly shoot an arrow at the guy that was in the right top right bunk. Okay. Or top left, top left bunk, I mean. Top, top right left. bunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, and so I roll for a hit, and I get a a nat twenty plus six, a twenty six. All right. So double the die or max damage yep. up to you. It's double died. Okay. And uh, it's seventeen. All right. Woo! So you hit hit this bugbear straight between the eyes and murdered him with one swell swoop of one arrow. GG's. Let's go! 
Blind man for the win. Legendary. All right. Next, we have uh, Bugbear. Just so, had to get some alcohol in me. I got to go over here and uh, see what this Bugbear can do to you. Because he just saw his friend just get murdered. So he's like, oh, God, this this isn't happening. Uh, oh, buddy, wow, let's I talk about it. My this. friends would have thought that the past two weeks. Wait, what? What's your uh, armor class? The only person to clear, care is Watson? What? Is it, what's your armor oh. class? Uh, um, hmm. Ow. Great question. Uh, 16. All right. So the bugbear grabs his morning star, and in case you didn't know what a morning star was, it's basically like a... It's a large mace. A large mace, yeah. <laughs> so, oh yeah, God, he runs over uh, and hits you the, the side of the head of that. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I bet you could say he didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You're done. You're done. You're done. Yeah, I think this is a yeah. DA. Okay. So, there it is. oh god. This isn't looking good, what? This isn't looking good. Okay. Oh god, okay. Uh... Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, god, don't do it. <laughs> Alright, uh, so he did basically max damage. So he did two sevens. So that's 14. Oh, 16, so 18 damage to you, Watson. Everybody is dying for me today! All my friends are dead. I have 14 hit points. And he did Whoa. more than that. All right. uh, the bugbear is like, Yeah, this is good. And you're murdered. And he kind of dances over you. Gives you like a tea bag or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Drags you into his bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next is uh, AB. Go ahead. Yeah. Save me. Um, she can't do nothing. Save me. Uh, yeah. I mean, she could theoretically utilize one of her uh, actions uh, to stabilize you, utilizing a medicine check, but it can fail. So, be a waste of an action potentially. But also, like, that wasn't double your HP, right? It would have been 30. Uh, uh, 28 would be. Are any of these okay. guys wearing armor? Uh, they're wearing, like, leather armor. But they it got, like, leather? yeah, but they got tough skin, too. So that's kind of why. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to use, um,. Hold on. I'm trying, I'm deciding between my spells. Carrie Mark, thank you for liking the stream. Also, I don't know who you are, but, but awesome for the top fan badge. Cool. <laughs> on them? Sorry, what'd you say? You're doing what on them? I think I'm going to use Ray of Frost okay. on them. Go ahead. And this is the one that murdered Watson or the other one? The one that Guys, murdered Watson. I, I realized why I died. I haven't done a shot of my good luck with my good luck Irish whiskey yet. Mm, mm. There you go. That's why. So All right, first shot. That'll do it. Does that mean AB and the guy below are the same location? No, 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 no. Everybody on the... Everybody I'm showing on my screen is on Discord. 93 days. Yeah, I know. It's been a lot. Uh, anyway, so I use Ray of Frost, which for those who don't know, basically it creates a frigid beam of blue-white light streaks toward a creature within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit to... Uh, on a hit, it takes 1d8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. So go ahead and roll to hit. I believe you got a plus 5. Uh, for what? What's the... It's like a... You roll a d20. Like a, you would attack with like anything else. Okay. So I have to roll a d20? Mm-hmm. I got an 18. Let's go! Okay, you definitely hit him. Uh, so yeah. roll that d8. 
Yeah, a five. Good stuff. Okay. Sheesh. Uh, he's frozen. Ten feet reduced, obviously. Well, not frozen, but he's like, he, you got him. You got him good stuff. Uh, he's he's upset, but he's not he's not dead yet. Okay. How All much right. left does he have left? That is top secret information. What? It is, unfortunately. Sorry. Can't tell you. Uh, okay. How do I know, like, how much damage I did to him, though? Like, what, what, what happened to him? Is he just frozen and he yeah, can't he, move now? Yeah, he just, no, he can move. He's just... He's, like, got a little frostbite is all from that. Does a 23 hit, DM glares. <laughs> all right, so we got Klutzy next. Yeah, just a 20. yeah, I think JC just wasn't happy I got a nat 20, so he needed to put me down. <laughs> yeah. that, well, right. uh, he Kl did. Klutzy, attack me. the guy that I just... Klutzy, attack the guy that I just froze because he's frozen now. Yeah, for sure. Do, do, do. No, not do, frozen, do. just speed reduced. Irish whiskey, I think that's the reason why he died. What? You can't say anything about Irish whiskey. It's so good. How dare you say something about Irish whiskey, whoever you are. <laughs> Irish whiskey is good. It's so good. 10? Maybe you nope. gotta try this. So I, I just tried it. It's huh? really good. My Lots good luck. Dead. Yep. Mm -hmm. My good, good luck whiskey, it's called Celtic Honey. So good, you gotta try it. Okay. What'd you say, babe? Well, uh, so, so that didn't hit, so go ahead and do your other okay. one. A plane outside. Quiet down, how plane. Much, how much? How much do you like it, Watson? Uh oh. Um. A lot. Okay. I walk away slowly. Was okay. that like a good question? So, or was that uh, like a question? I'm right, right behind Abby in particular. All right. So uh, you tried to no. hit him with your quarter Amy, step, no. and then also Amy, no. you tried to slap him, and it failed miserably. Uh, so nice job, bugbear. Uh, bugbear number three. He's like in there and he's gonna attack. Let's see. There's a, I'm gonna roll a d4 because I'm not gonna be rude to anybody. I'm not gonna be, he, there's no reason to hit anybody specifically. Uh, so he hits Steve. Okay. Good stuff. Let's see if, Steve, what's your armor class? 17. Okay, he might not actually have gotten that. Maybe I swear. Let's see here. Uh, it's just plus four to hit, so yeah, no, he, he, he tried to run up there with the Morning Star, and like you just, it just bounced off the armor like it was nothing, so GG, Steve. Okay, then, that was Bugbear 3, so then it's Steve's turn now. All right. Ah. Uh. So I have a bugbear between me and Watson's uh, slowly dying corpse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, how bloody is the bugbear that tried to hit me? Uh, he, it, he's like, tis but a scratch. Tis but a flesh wound. All right. Um, wait, sorry, okay. did... Steve kill the other guy? No. Not yet. Not yet. I am says. going to... Mm -hmm. So there's a bugbear between me and Watson. Yes. So if you get close, you might have an opportunity attack on you. He said guy's huge. Oh, man. That's what she said. That guy's <laughs> so large. Oh, oh yeah. Large. Wait, wait. I think put, I'm going to put him there. Him. You're going to what? I think I'm just gonna have to attack him because okay. if I uh, if I try to get yeah. past him, yeah, yeah, he'll try to attack you first. I mean, he could miss, you know. I mean, you have a high armor class. Don't you try could... it. Don't try it. Don't try it. <laughs> just, don't try this at home. Just kids. try, just trying to kill, kill you guys all off. So just try to hit him. All right, no, go ahead. Tracy, the whole thing ends if we all die. That's not true. You guys just make new characters. And, and... Yeah. You DM your personal that's team. <laughs> I mean, hey, being DM. All right. Woo! Yeah, you hit him. I rolled. I hit armor or I hit AC nineteen. All right. Yep. You got him. You hit him good. All right. So that's one d six plus two. Mhm. Mm nice. Or seven damage. All right, and this is the one that hit you, right? That's the one that tried, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the one that tried, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I can't do math. I gotta pull up a calculator. You said seven damage. Okay. Cool. Yep. Dude, I need to put my heat. My room is so freaking cold right now. I wish I had that problem. Okay. All right. So Watson, it's back to you, buddy. So here's what you do. Since you are dying, you yes. roll a d20. Oh god. There's no pluses or minuses. You just roll a d20. Okay. Oh. I got an 18. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. That, so uh, what you'll do is you'll have one successful. So uh, basically uh, 10 and above is successful. Uh, 9 and below is not. So if you get 2, it's, I think it's 2, right? Or is it 3? Steve, you can correct me if I'm wrong. It's 2 or 3, I don't remember. 3. 3, yeah. So you get 3. You need three, 3 chances. Uh, you need to have 2 out of 3 to be uh, one way or the other. Right, so what am I rolling? You already got it. So that's no, one no, successful no. roll. You did one. three total successes or three total fails. Well, no, two is what you need to have because you do three. Oh, okay. I think I'm not sure. It's, if if Beard's in no, there, I think Beard would know better. Three, three above ten or three it's ten or below. Right now, seriously. But yeah, you're you're good on that one. So uh, next would be oh bugbear again. Um, Watson, you're muted. What's happening, buddy? You know what you have set in motion. Uh, don't, know. <laughs> don't you play that card uh, on me. Uh, Cody! <laughs> okay, yeah. So, okay, yeah. So, it's basically an uh, infinite amount of times. I think it, I guess it would be six times you could max roll. So, it, on a third success, you become stable. On a third failure, you die forever, and nobody can revive you. Except there's like one spell that might be able to revive you, but, uh, anyways. Good, good stuff. Okay, anyway, uh, back to Bugbear. Uh, he is going to attack. Who is the lucky member here? It is... Klutzy. No! Okay, well, don't worry. He's not attacking you today. Oh, why? He rolled a one, so yeah, uh. it's good stuff. Good stuff for him. Let's... Does he fumble? He does. Of course, everyone fumbles. Was it this one that I was using? No. Wait, was it... What did you get last time? 46? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll the D100 in here for people to see, because I don't really know where my D100 is right now. How do I do this? 1D100? Yep. 1D100. Steve. 72. Yeah. <laughs> Sam commented, he goes, Steve looking less fancy today. <laughs> All right. Lodge weapon. So your weapon becomes it's stuck in the floor account. or a nearby object. <laughs> you must make a 14 strength to remove it as an action. Okay. So basically, this bugbear attempted to hit Klutzy and hit his morning star into the floorboards next, and cannot get it out until his next turn. So, what's up? <laughs> See, he's as still cute as ever, though. <laughs> All right. All right, now it's Abby's turn again. Abby. Hey, baby. Sorry, sorry. I'm slowed on mute. Okay, so uh, fill me in again. So what is we got, happening? With we got two bugbears. Okay. One's one's got their morning star stuck in the floorboards. The other one right. is just chilling on the bed still. Yeah, well, I mean, is the morning star the one that I froze? No, the one you froze is the other one. Well, actually, no. Yeah, you know, actually, you're right. No, the one that you. Froze, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's not frozen. Right. Right. Now remember that. He's not, he's, not he's not frozen anymore. No. No. Um, okay, then while he's trying to. Oh! Wait! That thing is metal, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So he is trying to pull it out of the floorboards, right? Not yet, but yeah. Essentially. Okay. Well, he has his hands on it trying, right? Yes. I mean, you gotta imagine cool. this. This is kind of a one encounter is supposed to take like one minute, which that, that definitely doesn't happen, obviously. So Yo, perfect. Abby. What? I asked Cody why, and he said, <laughs> "Do you see the cannons on Abby? What she wants, she gets." Heck yeah, mm. baby! I have been working out, dude. My cannons are growing. Heck you want Cody? Yeah. I've been working out too. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Focus, AB. Focus. What are you doing to this bugbear? Jeez, All right, Steve. So he's, he's trying to grab onto his mace, uh -huh. which means that I use Shocking Grasp, which is lightning springs from my hands to deliver a shock to the creature I tr uh, you try to touch. M uh, make a melee spell attack against the target. You have advantage on the attack roll if the target is wearing armor made of metal, but in this situation, he's holding onto his mace that is made of metal. Therefore, it hits. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 lightning damage, and it can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Okay, well, technically, it's not made out of metal. It's the metal prongs, and it's made out of wood. But oh my God. I'll be since the, it's such a creative idea, I'll let you have it. But, oh my God, wait, hold on, I can't hear you over my Bill Nye. <laughs> but Bill yeah, basic. Uh, if you look at this uh, image that I have here, it's actually a wooden uh thing right, what the hell did he do yeah so it's basically wood with metal spikes also if you look at it that's what that's what he's morning star looks like just so you know but good stuff uh but yeah you, you can do it because i mean that's pretty pretty unique idea so you get a roll with advantage even though <clears throat> yeah so go ahead roll advantage for that one Okay, so you're saying that it would work, right? It will work in this situation because. Okay, so I roll d20 creative. or. <laughs> d20? Yeah, mm -hmm. two, two d20s. Well, you take the higher one. Really? <laughs> what do you mean? That's what advantage <laughs> means. Bro! <Roll. laughs> I, I rolled two eights back to back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, then uh, you didn't hit him. Uh, but that one, that one, so yeah, you sh shot lightning out of your fingertips and uh, nothing happened. It was like a, when Mace Windu blocked the lightning from. What if, what if I, him. what if I, what if I, uh, but what if I like missed, hit the ceiling above him and the floor or ceiling fell in on land on his head? Mm, well, you should have said that you were aiming for the ceiling. <laughs> but you were I'm not. Kidding. Not say that. Right. <laughs> unfortunately, that yeah, is. Really yeah, it did. It, did, it didn't work. Unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Clotzi, your turn. Yes. Actually, hit something this time. This time I'm gonna use an actual dice because I just have. Fuck. Did you? Did you just do what I think you did? I rolled a one. All right. Roll another one. D100. I'll do that. Sure. At least you guys aren't rolling ones. Okay. Just, just be glad you're not doing that today. Seventy-two. No, I'm just getting killed. That's fine. Okay, so Wait, you're... hold on. So, sorry, JC. Uh, I didn't quite hear everything you said earlier. Am I alive? No, not yet. No. Nope. You have to roll. Okay. Two more successfuls. Uh... Okay, two more successfuls. Gotcha. Okay. Now right. I now I'm tracking everything else. What did you use the quarter staff? Uh huh. All right. So your quarter staff, just like the other guy, becomes struck in the floor, uh, and. You on your next turn, you have to make a DC 14 strength check to remove it. So yeah, your your quarter step stuck in the ground. You can go ahead if you want and roll your uh, your unarmed strike. Yeah. Don't roll a one though. Yeah, Clutzy, please don't. <laughs> That's a 17. All right, you got it. You can, you can uh, run and give this guy a nice little punch in the face. Oh, jeez. They are huge. That's oh, what she said. That's what she said. Oh, I, can't, yeah, I, I can't move him, guys. I had to unmute myself. I can't move him. I can't move him, guys. I'm sorry. Which one? The one that's it literally covering Watson right now. The damage done is uh, uh, I can do it. I five. Can do it for you. Five damage. Five damage? And you want to do it yeah. to whoever's injured already. The one closest to Watson? Or what? what which one? Who's, who's, who's lowest on health? Uh, they're both kind of even right Watson. now. Okay, then the one closest to Watson. Okay. So you said five, five damage? That's called cow tipping. That's from Barnyard. I know it is. I've Just never so seen know. Barnyard. Okay. All right. So what? that was Klutzy. So next up is going to be Bugbear again. The Bugbear that you just hurt. So he's coming right after you because you, like, bitch slapped him. And he didn't like that. 
Uh, what, what's your armor class? What did it get? Just what's your armor class? Okay, he hit you. Uh, a 14. Uh, so, yeah. But this guy actually has to... Actually, no. He didn't do nothing because he rolled a 14 and he just pulled out his uh, thing from the, the ground. So, that's all he could do. Watson is still dead, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's Watson's turn. So roll a, roll, roll a d20, Watson. Okay. I got a four. <laughs> okay. So that's one fail for you. Sheesh. So, um... Buddy, you can't see your numbers. You can just spend like, I had 20. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I can't see. I, I actually, I misspelt that one. It's actually a, a, a d20. Okay, so you got a one fail, one success. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, nothing. It's not that bad. It's not that bad of a thing. Okay. So three. Uh, it's a bugbear. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go non-discriminate here. Um, Ab, he comes after you. Uh, what's your armor class, Ab? Nah, fam. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Non discriminate goes after nope. the person that's died in every session. We Wait, had. Amy, come back. Nope. You can't leave. Yep. You can't Just leave. Did. That's they not. Got someone else. There's no way you can actually theoretically have, have ran that fast, anyways. Also, that wasn't supposed to reveal itself, but, anyways. That ah! happened. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, what's your what's your AC? Move in here and start drinking with the friends. <laughs> Secret tunnel. No, no, you can't do that. Secret room. I, if I keep moving myself, you can't find me. Oh crap! Where'd I go? <laughs> oh, there I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Can't find me. Uh, can't here, I I just move Steve in the way, and then I hide behind him. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. What was that? That was weird. Wait. Who's doing that? Stop doing that. Someone. Someone stop doing that, please. That's not me. Okay. Uh. No, Abe. What's your armor class? Come on. A B. What? What's your armor class? Uh, Guys, please uh, remove. My armor class is nine hundred. That's not. That's not. I'm, I'm, I'll, I will go look for it. It's twelve. Twelve. Okay, you got hit. Okay. Why? <laughs> Oh god, hold on. Uh, I'll be nice. That was a high number. Oh, come oh god, on that was even worse. <laughs> well, that's even worse. <laughs> it's okay, stop. Can we stop drawing dicks? Please. I appreciate that. Please stop killing me. Alright, AB, what's your um, HP? My what? What's your health? What's your max health here? Uh, how do you check? It's your HP on the top right, I think. My hit, my hit point? Yeah. A measly ten. <laughs> okay, you're dead. <laughs> Sorry. <No! laughs> oh, come on! Why? I said don't go after me. I didn't. I rolled a D four, and it just hell? happened. It just happened. Okay, so Abe's dead. Watson's dead. Screw this game. Screw this game. Every damn week. <laughs> Steve. Hey, welcome to the afterlife. He How's said it he'd going? Be right back. Oh, oh he's no, back. I've been here three times. I basically have a punch card at this point. You know what's cool is I getting... can. <laughs> so, Avi's dead. Are you getting Steve? frequent dying miles? <laughs> okay. Yeah, where are my frequent dying miles? <laughs> I don't know. Dead and gone. <laughs> All right, so that was. Um, who just went before the bugbear? I'm already forgot. Instead of Delta, I'm flying dead to. Was that Watson? Did you go before the bugbear? Yeah, you did. Okay. So. I am actually it's AB. flying it's your, Spirit Airlines. It's your turn, AB. So roll <laughs> roll a d20 for your successful roll. I think I got skipped last round. Did, did you? <laughs> you might have. Yeah. I think you did. What the hell? Oh, you definitely did. I'm very sorry. So I got deaded for nothing. No. no. Because you skipped Steve. No. Steve wasn't here, so that's why I didn't think think about it. I would look up all the time. So, all right, so that's one fail for uh, AB. Okay, Roger that. Okay. All right, Steve, just go. Uh, I'll let you interject here. Just because there's two dead people on the battlefield. Um, okay. Hey, I will, I will quit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just, how do I keep dying? Ah, 
It's Abby. Abby's the one drawing the dicks. No, it wasn't. I just drew freaking tasty bad mod. <laughs> a bad mod. <laughs> bad DM. All right. What you doing, Steve? Sorry. Um. Uh. Uh. Well, you're I'm gonna tech. cast. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. Uh huh. At the one. The one that's more injured. Okay. Guiding bolt requires a d20 plus 5 attack roll. Okay, go ahead. 1d20 plus 5. Alright, which got, is a you, 16. Is you, that hit? Yep, you do hit him. Okay. And the damage is 46. Oh, damn. Just a couple points. If you do right. this right, you might be able to murder him. Dude, when do we start having more damage than other people? Because at this point, I feel like you do. Like you just don't use the spells that you have that you can utilize. Trust me. There what? Are, there are spells everything out there. I did, everything I did, was a spell. I did use the thing that had the most power, and then I got <laughs> killed immediately. All right, so after. eleven. So he actually isn't dead, but he is almost dead. Oh my god! Of course he is. Of course, he's almost dead, and not actually. He's dead. not quite dead yet, unfortunately. He's just he really nearly just dead. Yeah, Buck bears. So, meanwhile, there was three of them, four of us, and now two of us are dead. One was near dead, broken hand fixed, and then two of them are still still alive. How is this possible? They're really high in health. I can just. And I, I... can't be. When is it my turn to be high in health? <laughs> I think we can just sum Never. up that we're not having a great night. <laughs> We're not having good luck tonight. All right. Uh, I mean, like, honestly, this is this is that. probably a uh, pretty a uh, pretty bad in you know normal what? cases, but I won't say. All right, I'm rolling. Rewind this entire tank thing, and we're going to the right door. <laughs> nope. Um. Oh, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Okay. So that was Steve's turn. So, and then AB. Yeah. Did anyone, anyone quick did anyone save roll? before we do this? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Uh, Clutzy, your turn. Oh gosh, okay. Can you guys stop drawing on the map, please? Okay. I did nothing. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wait. Where am I again? <laughs> I'm attacking, right? Yes. Oh, shoot. I have to do roll that one thing for... for. Yeah, we got to roll. That's in your entire action. Okay. Unless you want to utilize something else. Let me reload. Oh, I didn't put the D&D &D music on the background. That sucks. I can't believe I forgot that. I have D&D music. Yeah, I almost forgot. I put it on in my background, though. Cuts you with an eight. As a Walmart bonus. is indeed still dead. Yeah. As a bonus action, can I try and convince one of the bugbears to grab my staff for me? The Grab the bugbears to do what? Do what now? As my bonus action, can I try and persuade one of the bugbears to give me my quarterstaff? Wait, so you weren't successfully able to uh, get it out of the thing? No. It was 14, That's what right? She did. <laughs> oh god, what just happened to my stream? My poor stream. You good? Oh god, something happened. Oh, it's because it's on YouTube. Okay, hold on one second. Friends. Alright. Whoa! That's weird. All right. Um, so is that is that an okay thing to do or no? Uh, sure. Go ahead and persuade the bugbear. Let me see if you can do it. I don't even, I don't even add anything. I can't do anything. I'm dead. Oh jeez. Plus one, so sixteen. Nope. Didn't persuade him. What was? Seventeen. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just rolling very good today. <clears throat> Start rolling for me. I'm all, you know what? From now on, I'll have the chat roll, okay? Yeah, it's up there. All right. Jeez. Um. He's dying, man. So, Klutzy's just went, is, is so... Just Watson, just one roll, night. roll your d20. Uh, maybe. Yeah. You, know you know what today is? Monday, Thursday? All right. I'm rolling a d20. I've got a 10. No, Alright, that's two successes for you, Watson. Watson, thanks for the like on stream. You're welcome. 
two successful rolls for Watson. And then two, and then the bugbear. It's the bugbear's turn again. Can we just persuade them to commit Sudoku? Alright, bugbear actually missed this time, thankfully, because I was scared that he was actually going to hit somebody and kill you all. <laughs> oh, well, like he killed me for the third time. I've died. Watson finally died. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ab, right, Ab, roll your d20. No, she shouldn't have been up again yet. No, it. Yeah. Yeah, so that roll doesn't count. Roll doesn't count. Uh, well, I interjected you, Steve, just because of that reason, but I went back to the, the order. I'm just gonna get all the bad rolls. Yeah, I know, but I still should have gone again before her. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So, uh, it's his turn. Okay. I just it's been it's confusing. Uh, All right. Basically, make them uh, swim so. I should right. be going right before Watson. Yes. yes. So let it's Steve's turn and my count my turn didn't count. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead, Steve, and then uh, then I'm gonna main try to maintain my order here, but my order is all perfunkled now that there's two dead people. Okay. I missed. Okay. So I did absolutely nothing. All right. Now it's your turn, Amy. Go roll, roll a d20. Oh, my God. Did you... What did it? What, did, what happened? Do I... All right, 13? Wait, wait. I rolled wait. a 13. Wait, uh, did you roll a 2 first? Nope. Are you sure? I rolled sure? a 13. <laughs> sure? I rolled, I rolled a 13. Can anybody confirm or deny... Please, I rolled a 13. I was watching your stream. I missed it. <laughs> it was the 13. <laughs> All right. I'll give you a successful. I'll give you one Please, successful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. All right. Now it's Klutzy's oh. turn and she's not here. All right, I'm on that. I'm gonna roll for her. Let's see if I'm I sorry, can get her to roll. Four? I'm opening up the sliced apple tonight, which I'm also mm -hmm. nervous about. It does say that it's spice rum, but I, I googled it and the spice it doesn't say anything about ginger. Which Captain Morgan, their normal spice rum doesn't have it. The only one I know of that has is um, okay. Kraken. So she hit. Oh wow, that smells so good. Oh, it smells. But just I don't like apple. know what her damage is. Come on. With a quarter stop, it's 1d6. Okay. Watson, fun fact, today's actually my Friday. Uh, I have work off tomorrow for the holidays. Oh, All right. really? Yeah. All right, so but she hits the uh, third bugbear and bugbear three is dead. So now you got one bugbear in there, one fainted goblin, two of you are dead. Okay, and then she's going to... What do you think you're doing? Rolling for you. Hey, you killed the person. No, I didn't have my quarter staff. You do now. Okay, okay. Now you roll for your unarmed strike real quick for me. That's good. Very apple-y. What did Very you just, uh... Hi, Josh. Klutzy boopin', boopin', uh, yeah. Captain Morgan likes apple. 15. Smells okay, you got... Uh, oh, wait. Really? Which one was it first? The 15? I didn't get it. Okay, you didn't get it. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of it. Really good. Okay. Yes, please, because I'm always looking for new alcohols to try. All right, now yeah, it's, it's Steve. It's your Sorry, turn again. Now I'm going to be back okay. on track now. Well, neither, neither of them has two uh, failures, correct? Technically, no. I mean... No, nobody has two failures. <laughs> well, could I reach AB without incurring an attack of opportunity, given where... Please. Yeah, Here, you can. I'll help, I'll help you out. Okay, Can I'm going to me? spare the dying on AB. Okay. God. AB is now one AB health. Is now G G. Okay. Yeah, I think after this one, <laughs> you guys are going to be... Whew. Okay. All right, uh, all right so yeah, that... We... AB's back to alive. Wait, what about me? Uh, <laughs> Watson, you got two successful, so... Watson, it's actually your turn, buddy, so go ahead and roll. This could be your, your winning roll right now. All right. Okay, Wait, let me give you a drum roll. Oh, give me a drum roll. I can't hear it because I'm not. I don't have your stream loud. 
All right, I'll try it again. Go. Five, four, three, two, go. And... 13. 13. All right. Let's go! Watson, you're back alive. Welcome back to the world of the living. See, A.B., Shout you needed out. help. You needed help to come back alive. I willed <laughs> myself back out? alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't want to die. You're like, this isn't over for me yet. I still have a story to tell. I've got a family. Dude, hazelnuts are the best. I'm bad. Okay, yeah. so, uh, everybody... I want everybody to roll for intimidation. Oh, oh, oh uh, this one's going to go bad for me. I know that. Oh, jeez. My intimidation's plus zero. Oh, yeah, my... Uh, oh, yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, though. I just woke up from the dead. I'm not, you know, that intimidating. I'm kind of yeah. weak right now. So oh, yeah. I... What's my hit points at? Oh, wait. Sorry. The three counted excellent. Uh, Thirteen. It's what, one. One. Both of you are at one. Okay. So the bugbear um, kind of just is like, okay, you just murdered two of my friends. I murdered two of you. But uh, he's going to run away because he's like, oh, crap, they have a cleric, so he can just keep coming back to life. And so he ran away. He ran outside of the uh, place, and now he's gone. Does that incur an attack of opportunity? Uh, yeah, I mean, it does, actually, if you want to do that. Yeah. I think that's actually kind of smart to attack him while he's running away, even though yeah, he killed you. Sheesh! You got it. Is that a crit? You got a crit plus four, so. Huh? That's a crit 20. Yep, alright. Go ahead. He's dead. Roll okay, double so the die. Or take max two damage. Two. What, what are you do doing you on him? It was a mace attack. Mace attack? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tristan. Whoa. So I did nine damage to him. Okay, that's 2d6. Is that max damage, or is that double the die? Yeah, it was six on one and one on the other. Okay. All right, well, you didn't kill him. He's still running away. Pack of opportunity? Me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let me do it. All right. Nope. Klutzy. I no, shoot the at him. Okay. I get a 14? Uh, Nope. Actually, mine was like a 16. Okay, you got him, actually. Wait, I got him or she got uh, him? She got him with the 16. Okay. That's you did it. not. I was off by two. Ooh, Mom, thanks for like, stream. I mean, that's to be expected. I just woke up from the dead. I'm a little droggy, okay? Wait. Your bow's covered in your own yeah. blood. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven. Uh, you, okay. You can say I'm I'm right, dead get, tired. Do an unarm strike real quick. Oh yeah. Ah, I yeah. see what you did there, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's twelve. Yep. No. No. All right, AB, you want to give him a Mom, you want to give him an attack on the way out of the door because what's he's up, Mama, AB? he's really yeah. low. Okay. I take. All right. I okay. pull out my dagger. Uh huh. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. My pocket, my dagger's in my side pocket. Uh -huh. I pull it out, toss it in my hand, catch it on the handle, lean back, chuck it as he's running away, and it lands in between the soft spot in the back of his neck and severs his brain stem. I mean, I like the, I like the, the hope, but you still gotta roll for it. <laughs> D20? Yep. Yeah. And I do attack. Bonus. It'd be gonna shake someone? Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's about to shake someone. Okay. Let's go! Oh. Alright, you definitely have shanked him and he did. Yes! Right in the brainstem. Severed! Woo! Okay. Can I leave the bodies? Alright, they don't really have anything except for uh The Morning Star? No, none of that. Yep. Yeah. Uh if I you actually... wanted, I guess. Can I save? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I look under the bed for any hidden scrolls. Mm, no, no, nothing, nothing in, uh, under the bed. All, uh, all, all you get is about 
you get the uh, eye patch that was made of black leather um, with semi-precious stones. It's worth like 50 gold pieces. Uh, and then also an iron key that locks and unlocks all the doors in this area, I'll in this entire key. encounter. So, or this yeah. dungeon, I should say. That's um, important. What yeah. about this goblin that's passed out on the floor? Uh, oh yes, what about him? No, he's, he's, uh, well, he fainted. He, he fainted. Um, I speak goblin, you know. Okay. Oh, baby. Do we, what, Mom? Do we to, uh, Mom, go are you literally here? dissing my freaking brainal stem severing? Because that was pretty cool. What about the other do door? Okay. Oh, but by the way, I go back and I get my dagger, so I don't leave. Okay, no, I yeah. always, I, I'm not that type of DM. You guys always just get your stuff, unless you lose an arrow in like a roll, if you roll a one or something. But otherwise, like, you guys will always just get them back automatically. Because I assume you guys are going to gather all your things back. So, mm -hmm. all right. Um, well, I watch a lot. So, of TV. this goblin, uh, I love he, he, he's actually been kind of just laying there pretending to be dead because he didn't want you to kill him because he's a goblin and he, he people think that goblins are all bad but basically uh this goblin uh tells you uh that he's been kind of forced to do like party tricks kind of dance like a little clown and uh stuff to make everyone happy uh so he's but an exotic dancer i mean he is in a way yeah and they just kind of demoralized him told him that he looks ugly and he's just terrible one of the worst goblins to ever exist uh, it doesn't help that his name is droop but you know <laughs> uh he he, he can i can i talk to him yeah go ahead i saw droop yeah i saw droop no 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 that's not what i said all right get up my friend uh, we're not here to hurt you Oh, wait, JC's goblin voice. Let's go. Are you not sure? Please, sir. I don't want to die today. You will not die well, today. I, we already died twice and came back. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you will not die today, sir. You have my word. Those bugbears humiliated me. I have no thing left to give you, my friend. That is fine. I seek nothing. Oh, you are free to go. But if you have any knowledge of these caverns we are in, I would much appreciate any words of wisdom. Hey, he's dead. Okay. Alright, well, congratulations for asking that question. You know the entire map. Boom! Oh, wait. I actually drew. Sorry. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> you uh, excitement. What's, so what's... basically, he knows the entire layout, so he just describes it to you. And then you guys can... He tells you where all the secret doors are, locked doors, and all that cool stuff. So, yeah. Good stuff. And then he runs away, because he doesn't... He's not a fighter. He's finally free from these bugbears enslavement, essentially. So, yeah. Well, GG's. I go to the pool for a bath together. Oh, well, oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh. no. <laughs> okay. Also, there's a secret door. Yeah, Mark with the S. Yeah, oh. Mark with the S right there. Okay. I mean, technically, I guess uh, I think you can just go through secret doors if you know where they are. Secret yes. Tunnel. So. <laughs> secret tunnel. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> through the mountain. All right, so you guys, uh, you guys got the whole map to your disposal now, so. What do you guys want to do? All right. I okay, say yeah. we don't go Is in that... room 10 and that we should go to the secret tunnel place. What about, what I, about room 4? Okay. So you guys go like bunk in the um the bunk in the barracks, just kind of move the bug bears aside and then you guys yeah. are back to full health and full spell slots. Yes. Yes, full health. Yep. Yes, please. Yeah. All right, there you go. Whew, that was an encounter in itself, let me tell you. You're telling me? <laughs> I died for the first time. I died for the third time. Shut up. <laughs> oh. oh, no, I didn't think my own. You gotta keep to this death. trend going. All right, next next week on Thursday, you gotta die again. Yeah, this is true. Secret tunnel. Okay. Wait, are we, going, are we ending right here? No, 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 we don't. I don't have to. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Steve, you have to be up early to tomorrow again? Yeah, 5.30. Okay. So you got, like, what, another hour in? Yeah. Uh, I got another 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's 20 till 12. So can I... Okay. No, it's not. You got 30 minutes. All right, so let me let me, let me just run, rest, give you a rundown of what the rooms are, okay? Hold on. Hold on. During this long right rest, I sneak into Amy's Damn. bunk. Hey, hey. Wait, my mom's a check. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just thought I'd sneak into it. <clears throat> okay. So it's not ten, my bed. <laughs> the room 10 is basically a common room. Uh, that's kind of where they all kind of sit and kind of just do their own little things. The bandits. <clears throat> Uh, 11 is like a wizard workshop. 12 is like the head wizard's quarters. Um. Oh, I go there. I need scrolls. Not yet. We're resting. Uh, 7 uh, is a storeroom slash work area. Um. <clears throat> 5 is... I don't know if I'm, I should say this on stream... Uh, slave pens. Oof. But yeah, it's in the game. It's yeah, part of the I mean, game. Yeah, uh, four. It's where they keep the old ones. Four it's is the unpaid crips. workers' pens. Yeah, four crypts and <laughs> three is a hall that is trapped, and he lets you know that it's trapped. And then one is the cellar. Oh, that's where the wine is. All What's right. two? Two is the barracks. Another uh, barracks? So? Mm hmm. Wait, what okay. was six? Six is um, the armory. Mm. I want to oh, I'm going six. in there. Yeah, okay. I feel six like before we leave this area, we should hit up 12 and 6, especially. Okay. I also want to hit up you want 4 11 just and to 12. Sorry, 11, 12, and 6. Because I believe 11 was the wizard's workshop, right? And then 12 was his study. And now, I, I do assume that mm, up. throughout this whole area, there are enemies. Yeah, no, I'm totally assuming that. Yeah. Um, yeah, same. Okay, so how are you guys going to purchase through? Can we get rid of this guy? Can someone get, like, whoever's moving him, can you, like, trash him? Yeah. Uh, how do, you get rid how of do him? I trash him? You just click on him and press the trash can. Trashing button. Mm. I got it. Uh, I think. Okay. No, maybe not. Oh wait. Um, here I'll just put him off in the abyss. Good. Okay, that's good enough. All right. So, where do you guys want to go? From here. From uh, from eleven. nine. Eleven. Eleven. So you guys gonna we go? We go around. We go no. We go through eight. Okay, through eight. All right. We skipped ten. <laughs> Icky right, smelly. So through hey, eight. Still like in the stream. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll just assume you can. You guys can hear that the, those guys are still playing the game. They just that's all they do. I guess is they just uh, play the game. Sitting there playing the game. Yep. Um, and then. <clears throat> So Wait, in... no, no, no. Um, mm, 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 what? Mm, mm. Nope, I'm not on point. Uh, wait, Watson? I ain't doing Watson? That again. Are you in, are you in the crevice right now, Watson? No, I am not in the crevice. Uh, you were in the crevice. I was not in the crevice. Nope. <laughs> I was were. not in the crevice. No. You, you are in the crevice right now. <laughs> I am not in the crevice. Watson hears the sound. I wish you were here with me now. What do I hear? <laughs> Did you hear that? Or do I have to put my mic closer? Here you go. I wish you were here with me right now. Ew, 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 ew. I will hunt you down. No, no. Nope. oh you. god. Oh god. Ew, ew. I can't even look back in my ears. <laughs> I don't know how to whisper, but I need a whisper for this guy. Oh no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! What'd you do? Oh no! I just <coughs> my stream. Okay. Okay, we're good. 
So uh, Watson was in the crevice for a minute, and he heard sweet nothing <laughs> from something. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go down there unless you're looking for a good time. <laughs> a good time, you say? Let's push Watson in there. No. <laughs> I have a wife. Watson, no, get me out of here. Watson's still in the crevice. Okay. Anyways, Watson we'll just whisper. Like... We'll just move on from that. Okay. So eleven. This room appears to be a wizard's workshop, as you guys know already. A rat scurries across the floor and takes refuge under a large work table set up by alembics, retorts, distillation coils, and other alchemi- alchemical devices. Alchemic? Eh, that's weird. Alchemic? Uh, like, nope. it's alchemy stuff, okay? All of it is stewing and bubbling away. Bookshelves are crowded with sheaves of parchment and strange-looking tomes. All right, AB, this is uh, this is your room. Uh, uh, where'd she go? Oh, there's, there she's looking down. This is some quality content. Awesome. All right, William. Uh, AB, this is your room, so you have a look around, see if there's anything you can uh find, and if there is any cure for blindness or a enchanted bow, let me know. Hmm. Can I look around the room too? I mean, sure. So that'd be a <clears throat> perception. Uh, no, it's okay. No. There's nothing really here to hurt you. Okay. Um, but I'm waiting for Avery. But if, if, if you're looking for it, so you get lots of books and notes. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. I'm uh, on the phone with Sam. He's trying to master the art of brewing potions. Uh, the books and notes scattered around the room are basic tes- text on alchemy. Uh, any character proficient in arcana can see uh, what the potion um, is. So pretty much, I don't know if any of you guys are. What potion he's brewing, anyways. Um, among the books is a tome written in Dwarvish. Uh, the Journal of an Adventurer. Um, does anybody speak Dwarvish in here? I uh, let me double check. don't. Oh, let me double check. Hold on. Yes, I do. And I okay. speak Draconic. In okay, so nope, I drink Elvish. Never mind. All right, so uh, I said drink. Yes, you did. I uh, so I Steve, you, elf, you, you just from briefly like thumbing through the book, it's you kind of learned the history of Lost Mine of Fan, uh, Fandelver and the Forge of Cell, uh, Spells. Um, and then one second, man. Okay, the fact that you know this actually is, might give you some good information because it tells me I need to go give you some. Read you the background information. Okay, okay, here we go. <clears throat> More than... right, sorry, I'm back. What am I looking for? Hold on, hold on. Steve hold is on. reading a book, okay? My bad, my bad. <clears throat> More than 500 years ago, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as Fandelver's Pack, by which they would share a rich mine and wondrous cavern known as Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters allied themselves with dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind the energy into a great forge, called the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times were good in nearby human town of Phandalin, uh, prospered as well. But then, disaster struck when orcs swept through the north and laid waste to all in their path. A powerful force of orcs reinforced by evil mercenary wizards attacked Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and magic treasures. Human wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the Forge of Spells, and the ensuing spell battle destroyed much of the cavern. Few survived the cave-ins and tremors, and the location of Wave Echo Cave was lost. Yeah. At the very end of the of that, you, you basically see that kind of like in a in a diary sort of setting. Um, at the very end of that, it's kind of... Uh, it says, Jake loved Isabella. Uh, huh? No. <laughs> Ermin records that a magic mace named Lightbringer was commissioned by priest of Lathander, the god of dawn, from the, the mages working with the gnomes and dwarves of Vandever's pack. The mace was lost when Wave Echo Cave and its mind vanished from history. And that, that's all you know. Good stuff, though. Learned a bunch of new information. Wave Echo Cave. I like the sound of that mace. Yes. It's... I want all the goodies. Um, 
Uh, and then, uh, AB, you're mm -hmm. proficient in Arcana, I'm assuming, right? What? Do you have plus to your Arcana? What so does I own, actually? I do? I have plus three, yeah. Okay, Wait. So, yeah. so basically, you just kind of see that, uh, that he's got, uh, oh. an apparatus set up to brew potions of invisibility. Okay. I don't want a potion. Uh, well. My potion is my beer bottle. Okay. <laughs> so, most of the materials in the room have no value, but three small bottles hold rare regents. Mercury, dragon bile, and powered, powdered nightshade. These are worth 25 gold pieces to each to an apothecary or an alchemist. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, and, uh... Question. So I'm I'm proficient in brewing, right? That doesn't translate to brewing potions, right? No. No. Okay. Just making sure. Um. All right. So from here, you guys want to push into twelve, and then in twelve we can call it there, or we can. Uh, you guys. Can do we want to push into twelve, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Um, the walls of this bedchamber are covered with drapes of scarlet cloth. The furnishings include a small writing desk with a matching chair, a comfortable looking bed, and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Sitting at the desk is a short, dark bearded human male in robes studying a tomb. He wears a princely mantle of ermine. A beautiful glass staff leans against his chair within easy reach. Um,. Yes. Can I can I talk to him? I, I don't think I don't think you heard, but I said we quietly entered the room. Oh yeah, he wasn't surprised. That's why he, he's sitting there. <laughs> he's sitting there, kind of just chilling. What's cooking? Good looking. Give me all your scroll spells. Uh, I said we let someone with a little bit more finesse talk to the wizard. Okay, blind man. Damn, see what he looks like. Um, so far, I have. You to talk to so him and you're far, talking to the door instead of the bed. Where so far, I've sitting. talked to a rat that has given us info about the enemies in the room, and I talked to Wait. a goblin that unlocked the full map for us. <laughs> real I want to talk, talk, talk. Real talk. Real, real talk. How did you even find the rat? You're blind. <laughs> he heard him. I smelt. I smelt <laughs> and heard him. Oh. Well, his perception was high, so. It's not fun. All right. I, I would so, not. I would not recommend smelling I, a rat. Can I, like, calmly walk up to him, talk to him? I mean, sure. Uh, wait, first, can I, like, check to see his demeanor towards yeah, the intruders? Just, just, just say hello. Oh, God damn. That's all you gotta I, do. I just want to know how he's going to react before I... <laughs> okay, well... Um, okay, I'm just like, hello, good sir. I want to be sir. friends with this guy. Yeah. My good gentleman... It's so fancy I for you to join me. You, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Do you not? Know? Nice. <laughs> we haven't had that yet. Where, where, where may have you come from, my friends? Outside. I, I am I don't know. Excuse me. Bless you, Bless you. lady. Say thank you. <laughs> So, excuse me, but uh, let me just gather my things and uh, I'll, I'll leave you to whatever you want here. I, I I don't intend to be here much longer anyways, but, you know, that's all, you know. Wait, good sir. What what has been your purpose here? Well, uh, I what you could call him a undertaker to the block spider. I am his, like... Second so in command. No, I don't know who Venom <laughs> is. It is Black Spider. Get it right. The, all I know is that I'm here. I don't necessarily like to work with these red brand bandits. They are pretty uncivilized for my taste. Uh, they... Yeah, they don't have the, the horde... Acts such as kidnapping, arson, and rape. I have nothing to do with any of those things that they do. Just so you know. What about 
killing because uh yeah we had two of those already um oh wait i'm supposed to be british whoops yeah <laughs> where, where's that been um, where was your memory in reminding me where it was i should have to remind so, you about how to spin the eye. i should try to tell you, you that he just speaking in his scottish accent he's trying he's it was a bad just so you know he's trying to like stand up and kind of trying to he doesn't know that you know that there's a secret door back there but he's trying to like gather up his things and trying to like sprint out of the secret door. Right, Can I persuade uh, him to stop and talk I to me move, about his studies? I move in front. I move in front of the secret door so he can't get out. Can I try and persuade him okay, to she, stop and talk to me about his slightly? studies? Can she do it slightly that it's not obvious that she's trying to block the secret door? But yeah. <laughs> uh, Can I distract while she's doing that? Is basically what I'm I trying mean, to do. I mean, he's he's still like looking at you. Also, I mean, actually, actually, can I try and persuade for him to give me his staff? Wait, no, his desk is right there. Wait, wait, wait. If you look at it, his desk is right there. I trip over his desk chair, roll, and then stand up right in front of the door like I played it off cool. <laughs> okay, all right, sounds Boom. good. You did it. You did it good. I okay. did it. Uh, so he's he's feeling a little. Uh, threatened but not quite yet he's it's like uh wh what do you want from me wow. friends he didn't even ask you i was okay when i fell no he doesn't care <laughs> Rude. He's, he's he's a little scared now he's like in a skittish stance yeah he's on listen, a stance. Can I, listen good can friend. i persuade him we... to be calm all right sorry go ahead watson listen good friend we mean you no harm we we do not come down here to harm you we just want to ask you, you a few Scottish. simple questions I've given up on that accent because it was I've horrible. Given, I've given up. I'm given. You know what? I'm Galen. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. If I've you if you if, if you I... let me go, I will give you some information that no one else can give you. All right. All right. All right. Okay. What is that? Well, I I will tell you that the black spider is a drow. What is the black spider? It's, he's the one that apparently controls all this stuff. I mean, actually, I mean, he does control everything. Actually. Actually. But, uh, I should also tell you that the block spider sent three bugbears for me. Uh, they're very, very awesome. I will tell you, they, they are the most brute force I've ever needed. They're the best bodyguards I've ever had in my life. Truthfully. Well, we Can I call his stuff. bluff and be like... You, you, you killed my... My bug bears? Oh my God. Uh, no, I'm just stop, kidding. Stop, I'm just kidding. Stop, stop talking. Oh my stop God. Stop talking. No. Uh, also, you see him that gesture. That was a comment just for us. You, no, that was you a see comment him, wait, just for no, us. Nope, nope, nope. No, no, listen, listen. No, that no, was it was, off the it, record. I wasn't talking in a British accent. That, that you haven't been all the, all time, so I can't I can't tell Shut the difference. Up. Yep, so uh, all I can say is that there is a, the rat that you saw in the first room, he, he kind of like, he gestures to the rat. And uh, the rat disappears for a second, Dude, and he comes God back. Walked all the way the heck up here. Come on. And the rat uh, gives like him like this weird silent language that you can't understand, and basically, oh, I can't. I understand it. no, you cannot understand it. Okay. It's kind of like a, it's like a f his familiar, uh, which is like is like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, he's like, oh, so you did kill my bugbears. What about that rat. droop dude? What did you do with him? Did you kill him as well? Because he... Uh, absolutely horrible human being. Actually, he's a goblin. Okay. But, just saying. Anyways. You know what? This guy's a jerk. Pull out my dagger and stab him in the no, heart. No, stop! <laughs> Amy, I, I don't us. think we're ready for that. <laughs> I'm trying to save us! Alright. <laughs> Amy I... pulls out his dagger and... Uh, no! he, pull, he He grabs his staff and he... He casts... Uh, he casts... Uh, <laughs> Mage armor. No, 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 no. Too late. I was kidding. Stop it. No, that's not even funny. I was kidding. You know what? Screw you. I'm going into the trap. <laughs> what? I'm die again, probably. Anyways. No, it's just a, it's just a wizard. Okay, you can handle it. I was kidding. I didn't actually yeah. mean to do that. I could say things jokingly. Well, you have to be specific. Let me kid. That was a joke. <laughs> no, I just okay. wanted to get Watson all up in his bunches. Well, he's not. He's he's, he's mission he's, accomplished. Wait, he, he's a squishy. He's a squishy wizard. You guys can handle him. I promise. I want his staff, so I'm okay, okay. with this. All right, all right. So he casts mage armor uh, on himself, 
and that gives him a do 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 do. Let's see, where is it at? I've seen it before. Uh, basically gives him plus two on his AC. So yeah, okay. Let's go. Roll for initiative, friends. This is a one one guy. I think he, this will be probably at the end. Alright, thirteen. I've got eleven on initiative. All right, Watson got eleven. You got, I got thirteen. Uh, thirteen. I got 13. poop. Oh, Who's poop? What? Wait. Who's poop? Why am I? Why am I? Watson <laughs> cheated on his wife. Wait, someone. Oh no! <laughs> that's what happened. No, oh, wait, no. wait, wait, okay. wait, wait. So that's bad. So I didn't wait, realize hold. I wasn't accidentally playing as myself, and I actually started playing as the as the goblin that I tried to delete and accidentally renamed to poop. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Backfired. Okay, so AB Bucks. AB Bucks? Who is that? Wait, what? That's not my name. <laughs> you want these things? What? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? What the hell what is happening? happening? All right, Steve. What was you? What'd you roll? Fifteen. Fifteen. And then AB, what'd you roll? A10? I don't know. No, I'm still trying to freaking get myself to roll. Give me one sec. Ooh. There we go. Okay, now I rolled a 10. <laughs> okay. Cool. Steve is first. Klutzy second. Watson third. AB fourth. Wizard and last. Wizard fifth. Yep, so you guys you guys have a pretty good pretty good chance here. So go ahead. Did I try to kill him or what? Yeah, kill him if you want. Uh, he he's he's ready. I he's in attack his, mode now. I want his staff. A glass staff. Because that of sounds nice. someone. I said I was kidding. It's not my fault that the freaking DM decided to take things seriously. For uh, excuse one. me. Excuse well, me. It's from Dungeon Daddy. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Right. Yeah. Dungeon Daddy. Bolt. I got a dirty twenty to hit. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. You're probably gonna kill him with one shot. Let's go. Let's get this done. <laughs> 46 damage, I did 11. Okay, well, uh, he's very hurt, but he's not dead, buddy. But he's he's hurting. He's hurting pretty bad. He's <gasps> not... Me! Uh, yeah, klutzy. <laughs> I hit him! Okay. Oh, you didn't kill his staff? Oh... One damage? Oh, nope, it's, it's, it's a three. Okay. And then, and then, then... That's, um... You didn't that's do 12. It. You didn't do it. Yo! I, I got a red say a Snyder mark. Alright. Uh, My turn, right? Watson, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Rolling for a hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. I got a 10. Nope. Didn't happen. Hey, nope. guys, give okay. me one sec. Now I'm being raided. Uh, well, wait, wait. Go real quick. Dang it! <laughs> I wanna... Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 I... Is he dead or no? No, not no. yet. No, he's not dead. Roll for okay. a hit. I don't want to roll for a hit, and instead I steal all of his scrolls. I don't know. I just want spells and stuff. We're just, just attack him. We gotta him fight him. We gotta fight, Fine. Have to fight him. I take. Okay, all right. I take out my dagger and I chuck it, and it slices right through his Adam's apple. So that all of a sudden his last words are, oh no, and then dies. Oh, well, all right, roll for hit, yeah. Is that d20? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Nope, didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen, didn't happen. It's literally that low, that bad. <laughs> okay. So he's going to go ahead and use uh, magic missile. Ah, boy, magic missile. I don't even know what that does, honestly. Alright, go ahead and do your raid stuff while I murder someone. <laughs> no! No! Please, no! <laughs> choose Klotzi! What? No! Wait, actually, no. Don't choose Klotzi, because she's actually helped me out a lot more. So, choose Amy! Alright, let's see. <laughs> Three... I don't want to have to save Amy again. Three... Four... 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 damage. To who? To, well, here we go, he'll, 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 how about, <clears throat> let's see, 
We'll take nine damage to everybody except for uh, Steve. Why? <laughs> Just because I said. No. <laughs> yeah. He, unless you want 18 damage on one person. No, okay. no, no. We don't want that. <laughs> Wait, isn't AB like six damage? No, she's like, what... she's at 10, what? I think. Are you kidding me? I'm not, I'm not dying again. I'm not dying again. <laughs> what's, what's your health? Oh what, what's your hit points? Uh, my hit points are 10 with an armor class of 12. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, it was 18 total, right? So, uh... 18 divided by 3. three. Yeah. So that's... 6. 6, so yeah, 6 damage oh, to everyone, but... Oh, alright. What Steve. damage did you tell us previously? Yeah. Uh, it was 18 if it was gonna be full. I don't know, I said 9 for some reason, but that's not right, anyways. So it's 6? Yeah, 6. Alright. 6 to everyone but Steve... Okay, all right. Back to Steve. Yeah, back to Steve. I clobber him with my mace. Okay. Seventeen hits. Yep, definitely. Murder him! Murder him! Get him! Do it. Three. You say what? Three damage. I only did three damage. Three damage. Okay, he not dead, but he's. Okay. Hey, stop looking. That's cheating. Is it? I'm lagging. Let me and reload. That, yeah, finish him. That's what she said. No, that's what you said. Anyway. Oh, God. Really? Okay. <laughs> Roll a D100. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's go, Red. Let's go. I don't. I think this is our last battle, actually, because I know Steve has to get to bed. Okay. 61. Costly mistake. Your target oh. may re-roll all ones and twos oh. on the oh. damage roll for his next successful melee attack versus you. Okay. In which case, my bonus attack is 12. Didn't hit, did it? Nope. All right. My turn? Uh, yes. All right, I'm rolling for hit. Okay. Fourteen. All right, you got him. All right, cool. Rolling for damage. Mm -hmm. Nine. All right, he did. He's dead. Yep. Finally, oh. let's go. <gasps> All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I take his quarter control. staff. Blind yeah, guy would... for the win. All right, so uh. So you get um, hey, what various, did you do in that fight? various notes are stacked neatly on the desk. Uh, mostly are like little oh, notes. Where's your British accent? Uh, he's dead. Or you're talking to her. I'm talking to her. I, okay. I look for scrolls for possible new spells in the area. Okay, you find a letter signed by the Black Spider that was addressed to um, Lord Albrick. My spies in Neverwinter tell me that strangers are due to arrive in Phandalin. They could be working for the dwarves. Capture them if you can. Kill them if you must. But don't allow them to upset our plans. See that any dwarven map in their possession is delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Erno. Don't disappoint me. So if... Uh, His name was Erno? Erno. Uh, Erno. Yeah, Erno. But he, he likes to add some flair, so his name is Erno. <laughs> So Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, at the foot so of his bed. At the foot of his bed is a sturdy, unlocked wooden chest holding the best pickings of Red Brand's loot over the last two months. Hmm. It contains. Who's the one keeping track of loot de loot? Oh, I was. Not I. Okay. Definitely not me. I have no Bunch of, I can't write. A bunch of gold and also I contains two yes, magic I items that I he... I see. How can I write? He got a scroll of charm person and a do. scroll of a fireball. I don't know either. I literally don't. I don't know. Okay. AB, this pertains to you since you wanted scrolls. Yeah, there's two scrolls, AB. Scroll. Oh, I 
want two of them. I get both of them. A I'm scroll, right here. a scroll of charm person, and a scroll of fireball. And you can add that to your. Uh, How do I add them? If you go to D and D Beyond, you can just add them to your inventory. All right, but what about? But I can do yeah. that later yeah, if you, you want. What board? about his staff? Uh, he also has a staff of defense. Yes, I want that. Okay, you can have it. Okay. Yeah, uh, the staff of defense. Um, so yeah, so at this point, you guys kind of give. Uh, at this point, you guys will. You kind if you guys like want, to, you can like leave this place. You kind of defeated the main boss guy. You could say got the information you needed to. There is a couple of other things in here you yeah. could collect. What are they called again? Fireball? Hmm? Yeah, Fireball and... Uh, I mean, if you guys want to call it here, there is a little bit of things you can explore here. Well, Let's wait for a moment. Do we want to call like, it here for the night, and then next come back week we to pick it. it up on... Fireball. I I fireball. Yeah, I want to check true. out... I want to check out the armory and see if there's a bow in there. But I want oh, yeah, to... and I want to upgrade my dagger if I could. And I'd like to explore the whole place because I know there's lots of treasure everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, what Steve said. Okay. So you guys ended here. I mean, you guys... I mean, honestly, it'd be stupid not to because you guys got basically the whole map laid out for you, so... Yeah. We know every secret, every trap. Uh... All right, all right. Wesley and I share this bed. Oh, and then Watson and Steve sleep on the floor. All right, so... <laughs> It's gonna be cold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like double check something here, but I I'm used to the cold. Think... Okay, yep, you guys are level three. Congratulations. Alright. Woohoo! Okay. I so on every level so far. Yeah. Heck yeah. Do we get our health all the way back to max? Yeah, it's, it's like Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. You don't know what are you gonna level us up? I can, yeah. Yeah, can you do that please? Because I don't think I was able to do it last time. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't figure out how either. To do what? Level, level, level us up. Oh, it just automatically leveled me up. Nah, no, oh, yeah. I, I, did, I that. did that. Yeah. So, oh, never wait. mind. Yeah, but that's that's. Yeah, it just automatically did it. Well, it did. I refreshed it, and all of a sudden, it was different. Um, so there was that. I feel like there's gotta be an easier way to do this, but. Yep, so that's about it. Thank you guys for playing and all the good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this video will be uploaded on YouTube directly after the stream. And uh, you guys can watch any parts you missed. Um, eventually we'll get this on Spotify and other places where you get your podcasts. But at the moment, we're just cur currently just... Yeah, I don't know how to do all that stuff yet. So we're, I'm doing research, but... <laughs> But until then, until uh, next week, hopefully you guys thank you very much. enjoyed the, the time. And yeah, thank you, Steve, for joining, man. Yeah. It's always, I, I, I always look forward to this night. <laughs> this and all right. Oh, uh, and then we're going to do a squad raid. Uh, Amy, are we doing a squad raid? Oh, I've been muted this whole time. <laughs> GG's. Yes, let's go see who we can send our fantastical friends over. Oh, JC's playing D and D. Okay, Watson's playing D and D. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> I'll see you in a second. Uh, see through. Wait, we gotta talk about who we're rating. I know. I know. I'm <laughs> looking to see. I have. I have see through playing Apex. Um, I got I Shock Tour and I got Cherry Potter. I don't know if you know who that is. I don't know. I don't. And Shock Tour, I, got, I think we I all know. I got Spooky Monkey playing Rocket League. There's Danny Dynamite playing Minecraft. We just Dan raided her like yeah, two days we, ago. Yeah, we, well, I've, never, we? I've oh. never raided Smoky Monkey. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah that's right, monkey. we did. Alright, hold on. Smoking Monkey. Yeah, he's playing Rocket League, so. Alright, um, yeah. sounds good, guys. I'll see you in the. Hold same. on. Let me make sure I find him before you do it.
How do you spell it? Smoking? Uh, exactly the way you think. Monkey. Smoking monkey. I got nothing. Hmm. You mean uh, I got smoke in the pyro. Yeah. Uh, it is. Oh, it's at Smoking Monkey Entertainment. I mean, I, I found it with just typing Smoky Monkey, but. Yeah. I've got no, it? no, no. Hmm. You don't? No, I don't. Is there like a special way to spell it? No, no. it's just smoking monkey. S M O K I N G space M O N K E Y. I don't know. Uh, hold on. Hey, smoky apparel. Nope, all the smoking monkeys that's popping up aren't live. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I do have see through. Uh, I do. And then Shock Tour. Those are the only two people I know you guys would know, so. Alright, you guys want to raid see through? Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay. How do you spell see through? Oh, wait, nope. See through's not live anymore. Dang. All right, who was the other one? I think we should just do monkey. Uh, well, he can't do monkey, though. I don't know why you can't. Smoking monkey entertainment. Is nothing popping up? No, uh, I do smoking monkey. As soon as I type in E for entertainment, okay. nothing pops up. And if I just have it as spoke smoking space monkey... I have Smoking Monkey Antiques. I, I mean, I'll just put it this way. All the Smoking Monkeys that popping up are not live. Uh, I don't know. But I'm losing viewers, so I want to keep up for the... All right, that's fair. 